thank the gentleman for yielding because I listen a long time. I appreciate it. But you also very well know the votes in the Senate that just took place for the last two days was to bring the bill up. And that quote you gave from John McCain, he's frustrated because he'd like to get onto the bill. There are two different chambers. If it is, as you say, a strong bipartisan vote over there, the only people holding this up to bring this bill to the floor are the Senate Democrats. It is unfair to claim anything other. They have denied for two days straight. If they want to make an amendment, if they want to change the bill, but they deny the American people to even bring the bill up. So let's be honest with the American people of where we are, because nobody on this side of the aisle wants Homeland Security in any trouble. We passed the bill early. We sent it to the Senate early. For two days in a row, the majority has asked to allow the bill to come to the floor. And for two days straight, the Democrats have said no, not even to debate it. That, to me, is unacceptable. If you have a difference of opinion, you debate the opinion. But to deny the American public to have that debate, that is unacceptable, and I will not stand for it. I yield back. I am glad to hear the majority leader will not stand for it. Over a year ago, the United States Senate passed overwhelmingly a conservative immigration reform bill. The reason they are holding hostage, Mr. Speaker, the Department of Homeland Security, is because they don't agree. But the majority leader has just said, bring it to the floor. Let us vote. Let us offer amendments. We have asked that the Senate bill on immigration reform, which the House Republicans apparently don't agree with, but which the overwhelming majority of Americans are polling and saying, yes, they agree with. So the majority leader complains about a bill not being brought to the floor. The minimum wage bill is a very, very important bill that the overwhelming majority of Americans support. In five states on which it was in the ballot, it was uh, passed in some red states and, yes, some blue states, mostly red states, by the way. And there is a refusal to bring it to the floor. So, Mr. Speaker, when I hear the majority leader complain about not letting that bill come to the floor, the majority leader knows, and everybody in this body knows, that if that bill should squeak by the Senate, it would be vetoed by the President, and I guarantee the majority leader that veto would be sustained here. And I would remind him the reason the Secretary say bring a clean bill to the floor your secretaries, as well as one of mine on our side of the aisle. The reason they say that is because they know that what I say is absolutely correct. So, I, I, Mr. Speaker, I tell the majority leader, who is my friend and whom I have great respect for, that complaining about not bringing bills to the floor we all need to look in the mirror. Because if the issue is comprehensive immigration reform and you don't like what the president's doing, bring a bill to the floor. We did. Show us what you want to do. Let us vote on it. Send it to the Senate. See what they do. And then, if they pass it, send it to the president. But don't hold hostage the Department of Homeland Security. Don't put Americans at risk. Don't turn a bipartisan consensus agreement into partisan gridlock, which the Americans hate and which puts them at risk. And I'll go on to other matters unless the majority leader would like me to yield to him one more time. I would ask that you I yield to the gentleman. I thank the gentleman. If we're talking about looking into the mirror, 22 times the President said he did not have the power to take the action that he did. From the time he said that to the time he took that action, what changed? The Constitution did not. And I'll remind the gentleman, because he was at the lunch that I was with the President. I reminded the President prior, 
after the election, but prior to being sworn in, we had this discussion with him, with Senate and House leaders. The president had the opportunity, when you were majority leader, he was president, and the Democrats controlled the Senate, to deal with immigration. They did not. We asked the president, would you even give us one day in the majority to deal with it? He did not. So when we look into the mirror, I'll gladly look into the mirror, because I think the idea should win at the end of the day. But if the Senate Democrats will not even allow you to bring the bill up to debate, I think it's very hard for your argument to stand ground. This is that we want to make the show, sure Homeland Security is funded. We took the bill up early. Just as the Constitution says, the House has their position, the Senate can have theirs. It doesn't say whatever the Senate says they can and cannot do, we should just follow. No, we should lead, and we have. And I look forward to solving this problem before the 27th, and I yield back to my good friend. I thank the gentleman. Uh, is the gentleman prepared to bring a comprehensive immigration bill to the floor? I yield to my friend. Well, I thank the gentleman for yielding. And if you looked at our committees, we are working on it. Uh, just as we say this body should. It should go through committee, have debate on both sides, and be open. I believe this immigration system is broken. And I think that's the process should take, not the action that the president took.